Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Luke here. I'm gonna do a my opinion on who is ver it's Titan's Deathstroke versus Arrow Deathstroke. Which one do I like better? Go ahead. Um, I kind of have a loose um kind of guide of what I'm gonna talk about. First, I'm gonna talk about the costume. Let's start with arrows. Um. For me, the arrow one was, um, I, like, I think in a later season he had, like, similar costume, because I don't know, it was, had more blue on it, I believe, I'm not sure, though, but, um, to me it was kind of clunky, and it was, like, there was a lot of padding, you could tell, and it was very bulky, and the mask do design, I don't hate or anything, it just looks kind of like a ho hockey mask. But I do like the kind of like the ponytail thing he has on the back of the mask. I really like Deathstroke with the ponytail thing. And I mean, I don't hate the costume. It looked more like clunky. Um, and it had a lot of blue on it and black and didn't have, well, he had like clips that were orange. But I, I really like it. They did good for the budget. But um, I believe Titans looks like they have a bigger budget for the costumes or just a big bigger budget in general. I could be wrong on that though. But um the Titans Destro costume was very comic comic accurate. It looked like um it was definitely based off the new 52, which the new 52 his eyes his right eye that you can see out of is glowing red. But on this one it's um it's like it has a target like dead shot which I don't know the purpose of that because in the concept art, it was on the other side. But um, I don't know. It kind of seems like Deadshot. But the mask, I like the mask. But I think the color is kind of weird because it's like they don't have a clear thing where it is like one side is orange and the other side is black. It's more kind of like faded colors. But I think the costume is more sleek and comic accurate and. I think the costume is better made, but, um, the mask is kind of, I don't hate the mask, I'm planning to buy the, um, the, a really good mask of the Titans version from Wolfram Creative, um, but I do like the Titans one overall, but I like the mask and arrow. Alright, so in Titans, it was only a 13 episode, um, season. And he wasn't in, like, the last, like, three of the ones that, um, towards the end. But, um... But, um... He didn't, wasn't as much developed as Arrow's, because it was a shorter season, he wasn't in as much. Where Arrow, he had, like, se whole seasons to develop, and he, um... He, he had a lot better development, even though he turned more like an anti-hero towards the later seasons of Arrow. And, um, yeah, I think he, Arrow's had, um, better development and stuff. So, Arrow, I would pick for that one. Alright, so now I'm gonna talk about their voices, which I really like, because that's the one part of Slade Wilson I like, is his voice, like, in the costume and, like, what he sounds like. So, when Arrow, he was Manu Bennett's from New Zealand, I believe. So we had like an Australian accent, which I didn't mind. I thought it sounded cool, but um, in Titans, um, um, which is Isai Morales, um, his voice sounds like Deathstroke, obviously. Like I really liked it when I was when he was in, um, episode three talking about his plan with Doctor Light. It kind of sounded like a mix between the Injustice voice and um Arkham Origins, and actually what. It kind of really resembles the Ron Perlman's, um, it really resembles Ron Perlman's voice in, from the original Teen Titans animated series. Maybe better, but I really like that voice. And when he, his voice is in the costume, when, um, the part I really like when he's talking to Dick Grayson, um, before him, Dick and, um, Starfire fight. I thought his voice sounded really cool, like it's, um, like sound edited. And I'm like that. I really like the sound of his voice, but um, yeah, I think Isai Morales' voice fits the character better. I have a proposal. <laughs> 
for you men. Always the hero. But you're not gonna dictate how this will go. You're not a martyr. You're a con man. Praying on those weak enough to follow you. The problem with con men is that they never know when to stop. Part of a special unit called Hive. Try to relax. Now I'm going to talk about their motivation, motivation, so I'm going to talk about, um, Arrows first, which his motive, this motivation I wasn't really a big fan of, because it's basically him, um, his motivation against Oliver and stuff was over a dead girl that he had liked that didn't love him back, which that was kind of weird to me, like, why would he just, I didn't really like that part. But um, his he his plan is to kill um Oliver everyone Oliver loves and then kill him, which um, in most cases I've seen Slade is usually toying with um some of the people he um fights like his enemies and not in Arrow or anything like in specific but in, he did quite a bit in Arrow but just in general and um Titans Deathstroke we didn't um know his motivation until later in the season. But, um, it was because he blamed them, Dick Grayson, for his son being killed, or killed, where he, um, transfers inside his sleep. But, um, I can see where he's coming from because he, um, because it is somewhat Dick's and the Titans' fault that he apparently died, um, because... They did, um, seek him out to use revenge against Slade, which... They did bring him into the situation where he died, and um, they t Don and everyone told Dick to enough is enough, but he went too far and he got killed. And um, 
Yeah, so um, I think um, Titans has better motivation for sure. We didn't break me out getting tanning sessions. We put them in crisis. See how they operate. Who commands, who follows. And then? We cull the herd. Isolate the weak. The rest come to us. Okay, so um, now I'm going to just say um, what I think about who wins this. And I'm gonna show some clips maybe at the end of um like comparisons. But um I think that they they are both good in their um shows that they're in. Cause I don't think Arrow's Deathstroke would work well with in the Titans universe, and Titans wouldn't work well with Arrows. Cause they very fit their shows um very well. Cause um in Arrow, he kind of reminds me of, like, the Arkham Origins one a little bit. But, um, I think each time Morales fits very well with the Teen Titans version because he does give, like, a very Ron Perlman original Deathstroke animated series vibe. He really does kind of give that vibe to me of a Teen Titans villain, which he is. And I'm going to say my honest opinion on who I think is better and why. For Titans, I think that, um... The development and his ending was a bit abrupt and, um, well, his ending was, but, spoiler alert, he did die in the Titan Season 2 finale. The reason I think it's, um, do that is because he just got stabbed in the stomach and he will be, most likely be returned in a later season because it was addressed the episode before that that he can heal and a stab in the stomach isn't really um, anything to him, but, um, I think Arrows had, be had better development, but overall, I think Esai Morales' Titans version is, um, overall better, because he, he really gave me the vibe of Deathstroke, but I, like, I'm a big Deathstroke fan, so I think he, he's the best, best Deathstroke for me, and, um, I think he really fit the character, even though he was a bit smaller, he, he just did a lot better job, looked more like Slade Wilson, um, the costume was better, pretty much, and he just gave, like, an intimidating aura to me. He was just very intimidating with his version. So, okay, that is my opinions, and see you next video. It's over. I won. <laughs>